Good morning and welcome to Saturday Morning Prayer. My name's Sarah Dully and I'm the Parish Priest at St Mary's at Maitland and St Christopher's at Tulare Rutherford. And I'm Scott Dully, the Parish Priest at St Peter's East Maitland. Our family is praying on Wanneroo country and we pay our respects to Elders past and present. Today, the Church remembers St Matthias. After the betrayal of Jesus by Judas Iscariot, the Apostles brought their number back to 12 by choosing Matthias to replace him. He was chosen by lot from amongst the disciples. The number had to be restored so that they might sit on the thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. It was conditional that they had to have been with Jesus during his earthly ministry and witnesses to the resurrection. The point of being chosen by lot rather than by some democratic method indicated the election or choosing by God rather than by mortals. Morning prayer this morning begins on page 419 of our prayer book and we're going to be saying Psalm 80 which begins on page 307 of the prayer book. Let's pray together. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Amen. We say our opening canticle together, a song of creation. Bless, Bless the, the Lord, Lord all, all created, created things, things, who is, who is worthy, worthy to be praised, praised and exalted forever. forever. Bless the Lord, all people, people of the earth, who is, is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. forever. O people, o people of God, bless, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 80, which can be found <coughs> on page 307. We'll say the psalm by alternate verses. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine out in glory. Before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your power and come to save us. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in good measure. You have made us the victim of our neighbours and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt and drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground before it and struck root and filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow and its boughs were like the boughs of the great cedars. It stretched out its branches to the sea and its tender shoots to the great river. Why then have you broken down its walls so that every passerby can pluck its fruit? The wild boar out of the woods roots it up, and the locusts from the wild places devour it. Turn to us again, O Lord of hosts. Look down from heaven and see. Bestow your care upon this vine, the stock which your own right hand has planted. As for those that burn it with fire and cut it down, let them perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your power rest on the man at your right hand, on that son of man whom you made so strong for yourself. 
and so we shall not turn back from you. Give us life, and we will call upon your name. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation, receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, beginning at the 17th verse. In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, you will know them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. Everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. We say together the canticle, a song of redemption. Christ, Christ is, is the, the image, image of, of the invisible, invisible God, God, the firstborn of all creation. For in, in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins as, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who in the place of tra the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be the number of the twelve, Preserve your church from false apostles and by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this day and we hold before you all that is to come. We pray especially for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie, and for our first peoples of the diocese, especially the Awabakal, the Birupai, the Darkenyang, 
the Gay Weagle, the Camilleroy, the Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for leaders of this nation in parliaments, especially on this day of our election. Blessed are you, Lord, our God. You give us life and you continually renew and refresh us with your presence and your love. You are the strength of the weak and the light to all who walk in darkness. Blessed are you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Lord God, may we revel in your joy and power and in our daily living. We ask your blessing upon the church that it may be obedient to your word and seek to bring others to know your glory. We ask you to bless all preachers and teachers of the faith, that they may have the power to reveal you and your love to others. God of love and joy, hear, hear us and, and refresh us. us. Lord, our creator, we pray that we may use the world aright let us not squander or waste the resources that you have given us, but use them to your glory and the benefit of all. We pray for all who monitor our planet and its resources. We ask your blessing upon all who work to care for and improve our world. We remember today all who suffer from deprivation, from poverty, from hunger, all from homelessness. God of love and joy, hear, hear us and, and refresh, refresh us. us. We give you thanks for our own home and for all you have given us. We pray for those who provide us with our food and our daily needs. And we ask your blessing upon all who work to provide good homes and shelter to the poor of our world. God of love and joy, hear, hear us, us and, and refresh, refresh us. us. We remember today all who are running out of resources. We pray for all the fearful and the anxious, the sad and the lonely. We ask your blessing upon all who are ill and cannot cope on their own. We remember all who, through ageing or illness, need regular care and attention. We pray for all carers and for all who work in the health services. God of love and joy, hear, hear us and, and refresh, refresh us. We rejoice in life that you have given us life eternal, renewing and restoring God we remember in your presence our loved ones departed and ask that they may rejoice in your presence and in the fullness of life eternal. We commend them, the world and ourselves to your unfailing love. God of love and joy, hear, hear us and, and refresh, refresh us. us. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everyone.